Greetings and welcome back to Frostpunk. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're back here in our colony um, where I think things are going pretty well. We're actually topping out on coal. Um, it's five days worth at the moment uh, we have. We are very short on wood, but we've just built another sawmill here. So hopefully that will help that situation. Um, and we're, we're just waiting on our, uh, well, actually they're waiting on us, our team. So let's find out where our uh, scouts have gone off to. Sturdy shelter. The shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold. Ooh, a search might provide these items. I, I assume that if we don't explore this, uh, or if we do explore it, there is some chance that our, our guys might be killed. So let's just uh, be cautious. So let's explore this. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the brown, heavy round door. To all scientists, if you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1934 miles. Home, 27 miles. Sites discovered steel bridge. Let's take the resources. We're getting food. Wow, lots of wood, food, and a steam core, which is excellent. Let's, um, before we go back home, so the thing about the resources is our scouting party is carrying the resources. So this is not added to our city until they come back. Um, so we might want to explore further since they've already taken the time to go out there. Let's go to the steel bridge and see what we can do. Make sure to click them. It takes them 13 hours to get there and hopefully like half the time to get back since it's a known uh, travel way. All right, so here we go. We have an, a small, slight, not very slight issue with the ill. All right, what are we doing here? One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose of the body. Okay, so we can either sign a cemetery or corpse disposal law, or we can people can take care of themselves. I'd rather make a law for this. There are two options, which is kind of interesting. We could either have ceremonial, we, we can have a cemetery, right? Hope will rise slightly. No risk of disease from unburied bodies. Each burial will keep some people from work for a few hours, and you will have to establish a cemetery. Or we can do corpse disposal which is using the ice to its natural advantage. New building snow pit, no risk of disease from unburied bodies. Bodies are preserved for potential future use. You'll have to dig a snow pit, hope will fall, discontent will rise. However, um, you can possibly get organ transplants from this thing. So I feel like that's the better option. One of the things you have to keep in mind is that, and a hope is falling, discontent is rising. Look at that, oi, so bad. Um, so yeah, we have a snow pit. It does not cost, but you have to make sure that it's not cold because otherwise, or not warm, because the bodies will rot. So we want to keep it quite far away from other buildings. These are, well, I suppose it's okay over here. Do we, can we see a temperature overlay, please? Okay, so these guys are really not generating any heat which is good. So we'll put this like, way out here. Okay, that's going to destroy resources. Let's just put it like in the middle here. Actually, we'll go to the side because our hunters go out that way as well. Okay, um, let's go ahead and grab the street maker marker thingy hopper. Okay. Okay, and build the street that way. Good. Okay, so our, yeah, and there will be people dying. We really, really need a forestry thing to go on here. Um, let's just take off two more people from this. Give them over here, please. Yeah, it's getting colder with each day, no kidding. See, now it's down to minus 40. Uh, we can see how this is also getting very cold. Um, moderate risk of getting ill. These are having lower, a little bit lower risk of getting ill. But yeah, not good. Not good at all. Let's close this for, for the moment. Okay, our people are trying to find the next settlement. 
you guys have? Okay, this is the steelworks. How is our other forestry area doing? You guys are doing okay. You guys have max employment. That's good. And here we have our folks going to the snow pit. Now then, um, yeah, we need we need to get Hunter's Shack. Hunter's Hut. There we go. I don't know if they actually need any anything like uh, heat there in the Hunter's Hut. Because presumably they just go out somewhere. Okay, the snow pit is established. Uh, but that doesn't mean people are more content or hopeful. Dumping our dead in the snow is nothing to be proud of. Yeah. Yeah, if you watch that movie, I think it's called Alive, uh, about a crash in the, was it the Andes? I don't remember. It was, it was very, very um, interesting what people have to do to survive. Uh, so, okay, let's build another hunter's hut here as well. We can get more people assigned to these places. Aha, we now have wood. Good. Okay, technology. Great. Um, I'd like to get better hunting tactics. We can also get a hot house. This allows us to supply up to 30 raw food a day. This requires a steam core and 20 wood. Um, that sounds really awesome. We can also build a bunk house, which has uh, a higher heat um, start value. So we don't have to provide as much heat to these guys or the medical post upgrade. We can heal the sick 10% faster. There's also somewhere where we can reduce the number of employees required to uh, treat sick people. So I'm thinking we want to get the hot house uh, just for food, food banking purposes. I think it employs less people, so you get more food per person that you spend on that place. Okay, you go ahead and uh, workers note. Why is there one worker waiting? Oh, it's an engineer waiting. Okay. Um, let's put them in here. Okay, coal is absolutely full. I think what we're going to do is take just completely say none over here and reduce workers here. You guys, how are you doing? Okay, there's somebody that's sick, I think, probably. So, we're going to put them in hunting right now. because we do need them. We do need them here. Okay, and then the, the engineer here. Go ahead and add that extra person there. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit more stuff. That's good. Very, very good. Okay, let's go unpause. Scouts have reached the bridge to Winterhome. Let's see what they uh, need to do. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, Built by the people of Winterhome in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow free by a working automaton. Oh, okay, let's explore it. A functional automaton. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it, even most, more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. Uh, we've discovered a weather station and a large convoy. Let's send it to the city by all means. Oh yes. You definitely don't want to dismantle it. We reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way. As it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily toward our city, the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. God, isn't that a story though? It's like, hmm, you know, like just so desolate here. Let's see what supplies our people have. All right, they didn't gather any. I wish the automaton could carry our supplies back, but that's not a thing. So this place, tall building with some peculiar devices on the roof. It's most likely a weather station set up by a scientist from Winterhome. Or we can go to the large convoy. Several vehicles and tents. We can see people moving between them and smoke rising from a campfire. Uh, I'm going to go and take our, yeah, let's go there. I'm feeling scared since I know at some point that um, in, in my test game, uh, I, <laughs> yeah, we had a bit of problems and I lost my scouting party and all the supplies. Okay, what do we got here? Deserted bridge. Okay, finding the bridge to Winterhome proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. 
Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in winter home, so hope is falling slightly. Right, we really need another few... Whoops, we have problems here. So the medical post is not operable because the heater is off. Uh, let's turn it on. We, I think we need to build another couple of health areas. How many people are... Um, yeah, five are gravely ill. So we need to build another care house over maybe here. Or we could do it here and then move this road. I think that'll be fine if we change that around slightly and move the roads. We can also make more roads in between these areas. I think that might be more useful. Let's go and take this road this way. Okay, and then we'll move this road that way and move it that way. And then we will delete this road. Dismantle street, this one to there. Okay, that's perfect. And we want to build a medical post, another medical post out here. Oh, look at that. It's interesting. So it, it's it's actually, I didn't even need to do that. I should have put it in place first. I didn't think it was going to be so small. Okay. So, uh, we're out of wood. Or, yeah, we're out of wood a bit. But it's okay. These people are still um, gathering a lot of coal. Is, are there other people gathering coal right now? Yes. Okay. Take none, please. Here, this is... Okay, so we do need to add one engineer there. I prefer not to add engineers if we don't have to. Um, and in fact, the engineers cannot be hunters. So we need to find another place where there are engineers. Take them off if we can. Um, okay, that's coal away. Wow, we just have way too many engineers at the moment. How about here? No. Here we have engineers none. Or, oh, we need workers none and max engineers. That's what we need. Um, so that we can employ these workers at the food gathering places for the moment. Okay, so, um, wow. Is, this, is it this place that's cold? No, maybe it's this place. All right, let's see how it goes. And this is what here? This is a gathering post for coal. We don't need it. Healthcare prom is broken. Does sick feel cheated and dispirited? Hope falls, discontent rises. Uh, yeah, that was primary. Oh boy, that's bad. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to, gonna have to get it better. I have to make it better. Okay, so the automaton is going to take a day and 14 hours to get here. Um, and our scouts are making progress. 7 hours, 30 minutes to get to their next destination. Alright guys, please finish building this so we can have hunters going out. Okay, functioning. Hopefully we can get some more food in here. We really need it. And while we have so many engineers, yes, absolutely fill up those uh, slots there. Do we have an extra person? Yes. Shove them out. Go, go. We have 29 ill people. This is very, very bad. Very, 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 very bad. Ah, but what we can do is we can take out these engineers and put them in this building. Medical post. Scouts have reached the large convoy. Ah. This is a convoy carrying workers that got lost in the blizzard. They are weak and have no provisions. We should listen to their story and escort them to our city. Okay, let's search the area. They sought Winterholm. The workers who were riding in this convoy told us they were heading for the city of Winterholm. We were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon, but we couldn't pick it up, they said. We tried to follow a search pattern to find it, but we ran out of fuel. Um, all right, so we can escort the survivors to the city, which will give us lots of engineers and workers. Uh, the survivors will set off toward the city on their own. It will take longer, and some may die. Um, yeah, without knowledge of how to get our city, the survivors will die trying to find it. Let's escort them back, because I think we can bring our supplies back with us, and it's important that they get there safely. Okay, that sounds good. 
that automaton is walking so slow but it's fine okay let's unpause one thing that's interesting that i wish was different about the ui is when i press the key to to um increase the speed it does not like if i press it it does not unpause it which is unusual because most other games if you press the increase speed key it always unpauses it so anyway uh, just a minor thing that i hope will be fixed okay so we'll put this on speed two for now right we're gonna have hopefully guy somebody cooking to uh, get food made for our populace and yeah, we're very very short of food right now this is not good and okay here we need some more engineers working here let's turn on the heater we need to get these people helped where do we have engineers uh, that are have some working there two over there five at that hut they're all engineers no come on don't 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 tell me this man okay they are working mostly where they need to be working actually we just need regular workers coming in here um i'd like to leave that steel working we can take how many do we need three one two three we can take three off of there and just put them here in the medical post so we got to get these people going um okay so let's leave it at that we have got to make sure that we have enough coal that's the most important thing okay we can we have a hot house research which is excellent um medical post upgrade which is 10 percent faster healing that is good is there something we should do better though resource depot upgrade um don't know charcoal kiln is good for converting wood to charcoal sawmill upgrade raises the effic efficiency by 25 percent that sounds really good wall drill is another really good thing for um for getting more wood so uh drills into the wall of our crater uncovering trees that once formed a forest before the ice engulfs them provides up to 160 wood per standard workday and it also costs a steam core so it's quite expensive um i don't know if i want to bother getting that right now charcoal kiln i feel like we need to get heating generator power upgrade or let's get the range upgrade first yeah i think that's probably best uh, because I feel like we're going to need it probably sometime soon. I do want to build a hot house. Let's see if we can build one close by. Um, they are very big. And I don't know if we can reach this. But we can try. We can definitely try. We'll get rid of these houses here. On that side like this can do that possibly that'll leave us <laughs> that'll leave us without houses um let's take these out because the thing is is if the hot house is too cold then okay come on thing don't can, can you not do this dismantle can i press shift okay i can press shift to click these out yeah um the thing is, is if the hot house fails, then we're out of food. So I would prefer not to do that. Let's get the regular houses. People, this is four houses that we need to add. One, two, three. And possibly maybe four over there. Or, or over here is fine, I guess. Okay, that's fine. So we want to add... Um, as many as we're taking away. We don't want to have people homeless. That would be not good. Okay, looks like I can't zoom all the way in and see the progress on them. Okay, there we go. We have things happening. Alright, let's build our food thing. Hot house right here. Oh my gosh, it fits exactly. That's good. Alright, what do we got here? More sick beds needed. Uh, I don't know. Should we try to heal these people? I'll try it. 
I hope we can. I hope we can. We should be getting the survivors soon enough within six hours. So that's going to be more employees. I don't know for sure or not. What we got here? We've just used our first steam core. That's the one that we got in the beginning of the game. Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city, so let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. So this is one of the things. I haven't played a full game yet, um, but I played 28 days or so on my previous save, and this is one of the things that's a little bit annoying to me, and it's kind of like, well, you know, what if? Um, what if I need it, you know? Uh, so I'm going to see how this plays out and see how it works. So we'll just check on that. We have people going home. Okay, good. Right. So 10 people work here, but they can get much, much food. So what we're going to do is once these hunters have finished for the night, because hunters work at night, remember, I'm going to take them off here and then put them in the hothouse to work. And these guys can produce, I think it's 30 food a day, something like that. So... Okay, oh, we can change the shift length. Oh, that's even better. But 8 to 18 or 6 to 20. Yeah, that's... I forgot that you have to change that manually. Well then, um, these guys don't have that workshop. Yes, we want to change the shift length in the workshop. Oh, and it's increasing discontent every for every building we change. Uh, I feel like that's good to change the workshop so we get more research done. Um, do we have a sawmill? Yeah, I want to change the sawmill as well. Oh, discontent is rising with every single one of these things. So this is, is this a sawmill? Yes, it is. Let's take three employees off here. One, two, three, and put them here instead. Okay, we have three engineers available. Let's send them here. Um... And what is this again? This is a gathering post. We probably just want them in a medical post, I would imagine. All right, let's see how we're going to do here. Workers, patients, two days. Wow, all these patients are staying for two days here. All right, so once... We get to work time. We're going to assign more people to here and take them off of hunting. Okay, so let's go through the night. Whoa. Scouts have returned safely to the city. Okay. All right, we have one new steam core. Let's send them out again. Uh, this time, I guess we can send them here to the weather station. Tall building with some peculiar devices on the roof one day and 22 hours to get there uh, or we can go this way I guess we could go this way and just see what's this way kind of closer uh, and that'll take them 14 hours to get here that's okay all right let's put in some workers now that we have plenty of workers to go around uh, scientists yes go ahead and work here please this is coal, which we don't really need that much of. I'm amazed at the amount of coal these thumpers are providing because I had a, I skipped that stage in my other playthrough and I just went with a coal mine to go get these guys, these deposits. And it was very interesting. It was very, very interesting because I keep, kept running out of coal. So I'm glad that this is functioning in this way. So let's take these guys. First of all, let's get Max Hunters. And also max here. Okay, we need to probably get temperature up over there. And can I adjust the heater settings? While there are people inside. That's very important to notice. Because it doesn't... I was worried about like how that happens at night. So that's good. Alright, we're going to get some steel here. And also more wood. That's fine. Okay, great. Things are going pretty well, I think. Okay, great. Uh, our wood output is now full. I think we probably need to either build... We need to build stuff. I think... Aren't we going to have... Oh, yeah, we have homeless people right now. So I want to build some tents. Um, where? Here? Here. Okay. Build, like, two tents just in case we find more people. And I also want to build more medical posts. 
health, please. Medical posts. Okay, we'll build two more of those. Though our numbers are getting smaller, which is gratifying, I have to say. Very gratifying. I just pray we get by. Nothing more, nothing less. We should be grateful for what we have, I suppose. Well, you're not dead. That's a plus thing. Looks like we only have one cook here. That's not great. Let's put an engineer on it. Okay, it's minus 30 degrees Celsius, which is quite cold. Oh, whoops. I, I'm paused. I paused it accidentally. Since we've actually maxed out on... Oh, here's our automaton. Excellent. Here it comes. Okay. Are automatons dangerous? I'll bet it'll do a lot to help us. I heard it can replace an entire team of workers. Automatons really are a marvel, aren't they? Okay, and here it's coming. It's actually this bubble's attached to it. All right, a word of advice using automatons. Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capability. Great. So what I would like them, where would I like this to happen? Previously, in my previous save, I had him working like a coal plant, uh, which might be a good idea. Or I also thought about making him part of the hothouse. So I wonder if I could use the automaton here. Oh, let's see. Is there a different... Ah, no, that's not it either. Dismantle building. Where is the automaton thingy? Maybe I'm just, let me figure out this again. Let's see how to use the automaton. It doesn't give me a thing. No. Okay. Um, maybe it hasn't given me a thing yet. Ah, generator range upgrade researched. Fantastic. I want to do power upgrade. Okay. Go ahead. Now then, how can I? Use the automaton. Workers? No. Ah, it's right down there. Okay, that's where it is. I forgot. Okay, so if I do this, can I turn off that? Is it still okay if I do that? It's actually quite warm inside. I was hoping to kind of skip the warmth thing. Um, is there a building that's cold, generally? so that I can save my workers from being there. I could take it, I could do this sawmill actually, or we could do a coal place. Coal pile. Maybe we'll do the coal pile instead. Cause this one, oopsies. Oh, that's cool. You can toggle it on this map as well. I didn't realize that. That's quite nice. Okay, we're gonna turn off the automaton here. And we'll have it instead at the this sawmill on. So the automaton, I believe, gets 60% efficiency, but they work 24 hours a day. So this sawmill, we can have nobody working there. We don't have to have, since this one is going to be full efficiency. Um, and then we have plenty of, of other stuff going on here. Um, it is probably worth noting that... If I had um, higher temperatures in these buildings, people would not get sick as often. So that's something to think about. But at the moment, we can increase the number of uh, medical posts in, uh, in functionality here. Right. Okay. And then we need to get, we definitely need to get workers working here. They need 10 workers for the hothouse. So. We're going to get that going. Okay, Max, go with these. Okay, great. Can we have this functioning? Yes. Generator power. The coal consumption is doubled when the setting is in use. 
Okay. All right, here we go. Things are happening. This is good. Okay, great. Um, and right now we'll just go ahead and put workers over there just to make them uh, functional. Okay. Cookhouse helpers. Sir, a group of amputees is here to see you. They want to help in the cookhouse. We don't want to sit on our arses all day, content with just being kept alive. We can't do hard work anymore, but if we fashion some simple prosthesis out of wood, we can help in the cookhouse and earn our keep. Yes, absolutely. We will spend 100 wood. Uh, cookhouse efficiency will rise by 40%. Absolutely. Yes, please do. So we may even be able to take off an employee in the cookhouse uh, if that's happening. So let's look at our book of laws here. Um, adaptation. Let's see. Oh, we can do ooh, organ transplants. Can we really? Could use the body parts of our deceased to save lives and accelerate healing. That way the dead can continue tr contributing to the survival of our city. The sick recover faster. Okay, that's something cool. What's beyond that? Organic fertilizer. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, care house or prosthetics. Everyone wants to contribute to the survival of our city. If we can bring amputees back to full fitness, we should do it. Um, okay. New blueprint prosthesis available in the factory. Factory is very much kind of mid-end game item or I th it feels very hard to get anyway. Um, but yeah, but amputees will be fitted with prostheses in medical facilities will be able to work again. This would be amazing. Um, but we don't have a factory yet. So I think we're going to go with organ transplants for now. And then keep on passing laws. I keep forgetting to click that button. But it's quite important to do so. Okay, cool. So how much coal do we have? About two days of coal. Okay. Let's see. Looking good. Might have to add a couple of people here in this coal thing. Scouts have reached the observatory. Something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments, and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. Let's explore this. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained they came here for help, but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Oh dear. So we can escort the survivors back, send them back. Some of them may die. Um, we don't want to leave them to their fate. I think we want to escort them back. So let's just take them back. That's fine. Go to the city. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so let's just... Um, what do we got next? Let's We can keep on building stuff. Workshop, gathering post, steelwork sawmill, resource depot. We can extend... I think we should extend our coal amount. Because we, we could use it. We'll put one here. Does this require any anything? Hmm. I don't know if it will require things like um, employees or anything to run. Let's build one and see what it does. How about that? Sounds reasonable. Generator power upgrade researched. Fantastic. Okay. Exploration and industry. More scouts. That would be nice. Coal mining. Uh, resource depot upgrade. What does that do? Store 50% more. That's quite nice. The wall drill is a good thing. Charcoal kiln is also a very good thing. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing, though, I think. Or, no, oh, let's get the bunkhouse. Let's get the bunkhouse. Yes. Uh, and after that, we need to get the next level of research. Uh, organized. Okay, there we go. We only have one steam core. Like, why have not we found more? Cold homes. Some people are concerned about the low temperature. I won't address this right now, but soon, soon, my friends, should be fine. Okay, get uh, people here. I'm not sure if people are switching jobs, because I'm quite sure that I had Unless people are dying, that many are dying? I don't think so. 
but anyway. Okay, this is almost done, which is quite nice. Let's see. Stored resource. We can add lots of stuff. I think we want to store wood. Okay, and this does not need to be heated, so that's a good news. The good news for us. I want to build another one. Um, resource depot here. In fact, I will build several of them. There we go. Build a road to all of these because they will not be functional without the road. Please hold on. Go there. Okay. Twenty people are requiring medical care. All right, scouts have returned to the city with lots of people. Okay, let's send the scouts on their way again. Let's go here to the crash site. Twenty-one hours left. That's fine. Okay. Um. Actually, I'm looking at our timer, and I think this is probably a decent place to stop before we get heavily involved into other things. Looks like we need to provide treatment for people. We need to build more houses as well. That's going to be our task for the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.